ladies and gentlemen. Neo March deliveries spike by 14.9% YOY to 11,866 vehicles, yet Q1 sees a 3% decline. Anticipate April's impact with new policies. All right, folks, let's talk about deliveries. Today, Neo has officially announced deliveries from March. They delivered 11,866 vehicles, which is a 14.9% year-over-year increase and a significant 45.9% increase month-over-month. Month. The total deliveries in Q1 2024 were 30,053. This is unfortunately lower by 988 vehicles compared to Q1 of the previous year, when they delivered 31,041. So, this reflects a 3% decline in deliveries year-over-year year for Q1. Now, why did this happen? Well, last year, of course, they didn't have all these vehicle models, but they had a clearance sale in March, and basically cleared out all the inventory of the first-generation vehicles like the ES6, ES8, and EC6. That boosted deliveries significantly compared to last year numbers. But now, you see, NEO has so many vehicles, but they're struggling to deliver them. However, orders are increasing. I've confirmed with other sales reps and insiders that orders are indeed increasing. But it takes time for them to convert into deliveries. It takes about 21 days. All right. So, since the base change effect happened, which was on March 14th, you can expect customers to visit stores for about two weeks. This means they need to purchase their car within two weeks after March 14th. That is, from March 15th to March 30th, they are placing their orders, and then you'll need to add another two to three weeks for the deliveries to arrive. It means that you will start seeing the real impact of the new electric vehicle policy on deliveries in April or around April. This is the time when people will be purchasing vehicles with the new policy, and they have really sweetened the deal they have announced a huge, substantial incentive. This incentive was already available for NEO in Beijing, which is an extra subsidy of 10,000 RMB if you convert from a petrol license plate to NEO, basically. And this is on top of the existing 5,000 RMB subsidy for specifications. So, you can get up to 15,000 RMB worth of free specs or 15,000 RMB worth of free specs. And you also get a free NEO phone, you get 36 free battery swap vouchers, and you also get a free year of NOP+, which is about 4,500 RMB. So, these are very insane incentives. And on top of this, there is another crazy incentive of local incentives. Like in Beijing. Beijing is trying to boost EV sales. So, for Beijing, you can get up to a 50,000 RMB subsidy for NEO. And this goes into the purchase price. This is not NEO zone subsidy for options and specifications. The Beijing subsidy is for the car purchase price. So, you just have to subtract 50,000 RMB, which is quite a lot. If you convert your gas license plate to NEO, basically, this is quite insane. And this is helping a lot in boosting EV sales. Now, the additional 10,000 subsidy for specifications that was previously only available in Beijing has now been extended nationwide. So this is also very good. Of course, if you just go for the base model, you get a 20% discount on payments, and then you also get 60 free battery swap vouchers. It's absolutely crazy. People are buying cars right now. What is NEO doing? Besides that, to boost sales, and one thing we have heard, and that is, of course, the partnership with big live streamers who sell products. So there are many live streamers in China who sell products online, and they tell you about those products and many people watch them. So there is a live streamer who had 7 million live viewers when there was a Neo promo. Either 7 million live viewers were watching his live stream at that time, and there was no recording or anything, just 7 million live viewers, and his entire live stream was about Neo new products. ES6, which has a 5 star safety rating, explaining about a DB headlights. And they did a great job. I mean, this guy is a champ. And during the live stream, Neo also gave away three Neo cars as a gift, so you can consider it a marketing expense. Yes, three Neo cars. This is not exactly a lot, but it definitely worked. 
I think people really got to know how amazing Neo product is and the battery swap and everything. Similar things. And I think Neo should partner even more with these mega big live streamers who have tens of millions of viewers watching them. Let's promote the product in the same way. Let them promote the product. What I mean is, this is absolutely fantastic and it's really going to drive sales forward. So you have 7 million people knowing about the 5 star safety rating, battery swapping, safety, comfort, and Neo autonomous driving capabilities. Wow. So, I guess this is really worth it in my opinion. Alright. Now, here's some really shocking information that I want to share with you. And that is that the power of Neo live streams is being understood. So the CEO is doing occasional live streams and attracting tens of millions of viewers, which is huge because most of them are new fans. Some people may not have made a decision yet, or they are just curious about what the live stream is about. You know, when William Lai does a live stream, it becomes the number one most viewed live stream in Beijing, which is quite crazy. So that's that. Then people also get the opportunity to ask questions about the company, everything. And then there's a dedicated live stream for each city, so there's someone who does live streaming every day. And obviously, these city live stream policies, subsidies, gifts are specific to that city, and they also mention where the swap stations are, etc. They also have this, and then they have live streams in their store where some sales reps live stream in the store. So, they are quite active in live streams. They also have Neo Life live streams where new live products are featured. They also have factory live streams. Have you heard about this as well? And you can also take a factory tour if you are not a Neo owner. So, they have a lot of live streams, and they are also moving forward with big, other content creators who are not related to Neo. I mean, they are selling products every day. Some people sell vacuum cleaners and such things, but they have a large audience. Many people watch them, and partnering with them makes sense for Neo, and you know, it helps in increasing awareness. I think they are doing a very good job skill-wise. Absolutely, Neo is also expanding, and they are reducing costs intelligently. For example, in Neo houses, some stores that are more expensive and maybe don't meet their target criteria. They are closing them, which is very good. And then in their place, they are taking cars to some posh neighborhoods for test drives and then delivering the car to the customer, which is very, very good. Especially for those customers who, you know, can buy 100% Neo. So, they are also doing that, which is very good. Overall, deliveries seem fine. I am sure they will increase in the coming weeks as well. So, just have a little patience in that. And if you think it's the right time to buy Neo stock, then yes, go ahead and buy it. I believe buying Neo stock is a perfect opportunity. Thank you for joining us today. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more stock predictions and market insights. Remember to turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update. Happy investing, and see you in the next video.